Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make Robo Arm and control it using PS3 controller and ESP32 module. We will pair the PS3 controller with ESP32 module and send the commands to control the Robo Arm. We will control movements of Robo Arm using servo motors. It also has feature to record and play the arm steps. So let's get started and make this Robo Arm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making robo arm we will need robo arm kit four servo motors ESP32 module PS3 controller Five volt AC DC adapter should provide more than two to three ampere current, and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the robo arm now. You can check my video of robo arm using ESP32, where I have explained in details about assembly of this robo arm kit. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Fix ESP32 module on arm base using double sided tape. Connect wires to 5 volt and ground to all servo motors. Connect servo motor signal pin to ESP32 module. Now provide plus 5 volt and ground to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin. Connect 5 volt and ground to power supply connector. Let's take a quick look at the code. First, we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library as well for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Now we need to install PS3 controller library as well. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for PS3 host controller and install it. Now we need to include the PS3 controller library. Also we need to include ESP32 servo library as well. We have defined servo forward step angle and backward step angle. We have created servo pin structure to store all servo details. We have defined pins for all four servo motors. If needed, you can change it here. We have created array of recorded step structure to store the steps while recording. It will store servo index and value in it. 
we have declared variable to indicate if recording is going on or recording is being played we have declared gripper switch to control the gripper servo we have write servo values function which will adjust the servo angle record the step and also write it to servo we have record robo arm step function which will record the steps we have created play recorded robo arm step function which will iterate through each recorded step and move the servo accordingly we have created notify callback function which will be called whenever we receive data from ps3 controller inside this function we will read left and right joystick value and move the servo accordingly we have on connect callback function and on disconnect callback function we have created setup pin mode function to attach the servo pins to servo objects it will also set the servo's initial position inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function we will attach notify and on connect callback function also we will attach on disconnect callback function then begin the ps3 communication inside loop function we just need to call play recorded robo arm step function if play record step is true i have provided the link to the code in the description below you can upload it directly now let's upload the code remove 5 volt wire from esp32 module now connect esp32 module to laptop using usb cable select esp32 ruler module and port hit upload Now we need to get Bluetooth MAC address of ESP32 board and set it inside PS3 controller. For that connect ESP32 board to laptop and upload this get Bluetooth MAC address code. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Once uploaded open serial monitor and press enable button on ESP32 module. You can see that the MAC address is printed. Note this down because we will use it to set it inside PS3 controller. Now we need to set this MAC address inside the PS3 controller. For that install the 6 axis pair tool. We can download this tool online. Once installed open this tool. It will say no device found. Now connect your PS3 controller with laptop using USB cable. You can see that the pair tool shows device connected. It will also display the current master address stored if any. Now input the MAC address of our ESP32 board which we found in previous step. Now click update. That's it. Our PS3 controller is set up to connect to ESP32 board. Now connect adapter to provide power. That's it. Let's see how it works. Press P3 button on controller. Now we can control the arm using left and right side joysticks. You can press select button and it will start recording the steps. Once done, turn off the recording by again pressing select button. Press start button to play all these steps. While playing is on, all other buttons are disabled. We need to provide proper 5V DC supply to this robo arm. Should be able to provide at least 2 to 3 ampere current. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.